Hey everyone, it's Gabriel with Automation Anywhere coming at you from Imagine. Right now, I've got the distinct pleasure of speaking with Anjan Mukherjee from WePro. Um, Anjan, thanks for joining me. Pleasure, thanks for having me here. Is this your first Imagine? This is my first Imagine, yes. Awesome, well, it's great to be here uh, and have you here. The energy has been phenomenal. Phenomenal, yes. You know, it's so many people talking, right. uh, sharing ideas, learning from one another. What are you most excited about in terms of the conversations you're having, the announcements you're seeing? What's, uh, what's of interest to you? So you get to meet different people from different parts of the business. A lot of new stuff I'm getting to see on automation, on uh, AI, on how the future may look like. Still a lot of unknown, but um, I think I think there's there's a good progress, and everyone has got a perspective towards the AI in the future. So so a lot of exciting, interesting thing happened here. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we are putting Gen AI to work right now. Yeah. While many customers and companies are getting started out there, they're kicking around the idea. Uh, with the automation success platform, we've got today the ability to choose your LLM, uh, the ability to, to have governance and have oversight, to truly have intelligent automation uh, in your enterprise, right? Um, talk to me a little bit about the conversations you're having with customers around generative AI. What kind of use cases are they looking at? What, do you, what are you advising them on? So um, let me take a step back and first tell you what Wipro has done in last few months, um, specifically on, on AI, Gen AI. Uh, so in June, we launched, um, a, a specifically for Gen AI, we launched a product called AI 360. Um, and this is where Wipro committed to invest a billion dollars specifically for, for Gen AI and how to build Gen AI uh, for the future mm -hmm. while staying compliant. Because the biggest problem with Gen AI is a risk it yeah. gets along with it. So this is an exciting time for, for Gen AI. But still, there's a lot of nervousness and maybe the fear of unknown because we still don't know everything about what sure. Gen AI can do. And that fear of unknown also comes in because security is an aspect um, which we are still not fully in control. So are we picking up data which is non-IP? Are we picking up some of the personal data which we should not pick? For example, healthcare, patient data. There can be a lot of confidentiality within that yeah, data. Yeah, super highly regulated, exactly. right? Mm -hmm. Leveraging generative AI will be hugely beneficial, but you have the limitations of, or at least yeah. you have to be very cautious Correct. because of the PII and the other regulatory issues, right? Correct. Considerations. Yeah, and, and that's exactly what our investment is all about. So both at a developer level who are now doing the coding for uh, Gen AI, also the users within the organization, um, we are training entire 250,000 people, employee who are part of Wipro, uh, to know what Gen AI is all, is all about, how you can be responsible towards Gen AI, um, and make sure you, you stay compliant as an individual, mm -hmm. and what you commit to the client. So again, there's a lot of excitement in client. Everyone wants to use Gen AI. Um, so we are bringing in Gen AI, bringing it slow. We are not rushing because, yeah. as I said, a lot of unknown, and we don't want to mess up on that. So we are not rushing. We are going slow. We are telling them where possibly it can come in. We are also partnering with a with couple of clients where we have got Gen AI specialists working with their Gen AI mm. uh, to bring some new um, uh, Gen AI along with, uh, with, uh, with, with automation. Yeah. Because that's a must these days. So yeah. Gen AI with automation is where the magic can happen. Um, we believe a lot of effort, both human and technology and uh, speed at which the work is happening can be reduced. Uh, so a lot of efficiency can be brought in. Um, and, and that's the ask of the client, and that's what we are trying to do. Sure. We, we are leveraging um, the entire LLM which we have. We've got a big stack of LLM uh, with us, and we are leveraging some of that to build on the case studies. So there's enough reference point now for a client to know what we're trying to do. you got to have good data to be able to have good outcomes, exactly. no matter what you're doing, exactly. right? Yeah. And Gen AI is no different, Yes. right? It's all about good data, you know, quality in, quality out. I was talking about it brings in more predictability. So I can take an example of one of the largest apparel company in, in US. Um, we brought in a revenue predictable model, okay? Uh, now we, we collected data for last two years from every place where it was affecting the revenue predictability. 
Uh, we built an AI, brought an automation. It gave 99% accuracy, and it, it it gave a 120 million saving in wow. three years. So that's the that's the part. These are new ways of doing business, right? right? As we hear it talked about in the keynote, we need to increase productivity. There needs to be a new system of work, right? And together with with you. Uh, with our customers, with the Automation Copilot, Automation Success Platform, yes. um, Generative AI. There's so much more that's possible. Absolutely. And I hope we get to check in again and talk more about it. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Nice All right, take care.